Hi, I'm Alan, and this video. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to more Drama Crash. Have you ever wondered what is the hardest demon that you've beaten on every single refresh rate or device? I've been asked this quite a lot over the years. Aeon, what's your hardest on mobile? Aeon, what's your hardest on 60 hertz? Aeon, what's your hardest on insert random number here? And today I thought, I want to check that out. The only refreshers that didn't get through extremes are 60 and mobile. So those are going to be last because those are the most exciting. I'm 100% certain you're like, Aeon, what crazy demon did you beat on? 60 hertz or mobile but i thought this was really interesting i was genuinely surprised at some of these there are a few of them that i was like actually really surprised at because i've been through basically every single one i've been through 280 hertz i played on that for a very long time because that was my native refresh rate i played 360 i've played 300 did you know aeon air has played 300 i did not remember that up until yesterday so today i'm going to be showing you with you guys my hardest demon completed on every single refresh rate that i've ever played on but before we get into it obviously remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already double a on uh sorry about that sorry for the jump scare but let's get into it on 360 fps obviously my hardest completion is tartarus uh, because this is when I changed back to 360 again for those of you who don't know actually i did play on 360 for a very long time or right after it was allowed i changed to 360 and I played 360 up until I got like a week into hard machine. And for some reason after that, I was like, I don't want to play 360 anymore. And then I swapped back. So I have a lot more 360 hertz completions than you would think. I have 67 actually. So I have to be two more extremes before the update comes out so that I can leave it at 69. And that would be very funny. But yeah, no, uh, Tartar is obviously my hardest completion on 360. I don't really feel like I have to share any other thoughts about that. I, you guys know how I feel about Tartarus. The Tartarus theory, after I beat Tartarus, every single level has been fun. And that is awesome because I am enjoying the most random levels of all time now. And that's pretty much it, right? I just like the game now, I guess. But yeah, Tartarus was my change back to 360. I had a really hard time with it. And it was really, really rough. I don't think I need to say anymore. I can do it. I'm 100% certain I can do it this stream. My voice was way, way higher pitch back when I was like, what, 20? Why? Shut up, Alan. This one is gonna, this one came as a surprise to me because I thought I had more 300 FPS completions, but I played 300 FPS for three levels, which were Phobos, Stalemate Redux, and for some reason, Allegiance. I don't know why I changed away from it after I beat Allegiance. I play, I thought I played it for more, but I played it for three levels. And Stalemate Redux was my hardest level at one point. Stalemate Redux was my new hardest after having Subsonic as my hardest for many, many years. And I beat it on 300 FPS. Why I beat it on 300 FPS? I have no idea. I thought I beat more levels on 300. I'm going to be 100% real with you. But, hey, I mean... Stalemate Redux is a really cool level. I really like it. I loved playing it. I think it's a fantastic hardest to do at any given point. Uh, I had a fantastic time with it, but I, w I would be lying if I said I wasn't surprised that this was my hardest on 300. But I think that's just me fooling myself into believing that I had more completion on 300 than I had, right? Only three completions on 300 FPS, Stalemate Redux being the hardest one of them. Now to nobody's surprise, my hardest completion on 280, which is what I've beaten the most amount of levels on, is Hard Machine. I beat this on native 280 FPS, uh, no bypass or anything. I decided to change to 280 for whatever reason during this because I was like, I don't need 360 to be good at the game. And then I decided to play Hard Machine on 280, which was a terrible idea in hindsight. However, 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 I do want to say me changing to 280 and playing 280 for as long as I did it definitely made me a lot better at the game. And for those of you who are wondering, because I got a lot of questions during my 280 era, why were you playing on 280 hertz? I had a 240 hertz monitor with a built-in overclock that allowed me to overclock it to 280 hertz. So I played native V-Sync 280 hertz on an overclocked monitor, and that's this one. It's the same one Wolves has, it's the same one Zeronium has, it's a very good monitor. Uh, but I played on V-Sync for a very long time, this being the hardest level that I beat on it, obviously, because it is currently still my hardest level. Uh, based on the list placements. I don't know, it was a journey. But I still would like to go back in time and ask myself why the hell I decided to do this of all levels on native and not just anything else. Actually, I think I know why. I think it was because, I don't know if this is true. I'm pretty sure I just like falsely made myself think this. But these are, this one right here is a 120 hertz jump 
or frame perfect. And on 240 hertz, this would be a two frame input. On 360, it would be a three frame input. However, on 280, because it is above 240, it would also be a three frame input, meaning that I had a bigger window to time the jump itself. I think that's the reason why I decided to do it. Whether or not it's true, I actually don't know because I never checked myself, but that was what I thought. So I gaslit myself into thinking that this timing was easier on 280 than 360 because I had more frames per second, basically, or more time per second to execute the input because I had three frames in a 280 frame window instead of three frames in a 360 frame window. Does that make sense? Probably not, but that was the reason why I changed to 280 and I stick stuck with 280 for a very long time beating a massive 104 extreme demons on 280 hertz. Now, this one I think is going to shock a lot of people because 240 hertz is one of the most common refresh rates to play in this game. A lot of people play 240 hertz and I myself have a 240 hertz monitor now. So you would think I have more than six completions on 240 hertz, but I don't. I currently only have six completions on 240 hertz and my hardest completion on 240 hertz is actually Requiem. Why it's Requiem? I don't know. This is going to change in the coming few weeks, probably, because I do actually plan on, after I beat my 69th, 360 hertz extreme, I'm just going to change over to 240 hertz permanently because of 2.2 and stuff. So that's going to happen. But Requiem, I beat on 240 hertz, and I don't really remember why. I think it was because that was like the max amount of FPS I was able to run the level at, because if you guys can't tell in the top left of my screen, I lagged a ton on this level, like a ton on this level, right? So they could be down 240 hertz because that was the maximum amount, amount of frames that I was able to run at any given point for this level. But yes, 240 hertz is what I'm changing to very, very soon. That's going to be my main uh, FPS coming after a couple, probably just a few days, honestly. But yeah, Requiem, my hardest 240 hertz completion as of right now, and it is going to be changing very soon, very, very soon. Now, this one shocked me. This level genuinely shocked me because I thought I beat something harder than this at some point after this. But my hardest 144 hertz completion has remained the exact same now for almost seven full years. My hardest on 144 hertz. Oh my god, I forgot how shit this editing is. So I'm starting by Voop. Okay. My hardest on 144 hertz is actually Subsonic. Believe it or not, it is Subsonic. This was my hardest demon back in 2017. I beat this when it was number seven on the demon list, uh, which to this day remains the highest position any level I've ever beaten has had on the demon list. So I gotta change that at some point. However, the top seven currently is way too hard. But I beat Subsonic on 144 hertz, and I thought I beat something harder than it on 144 hertz at a later point, but apparently I did not. Uh, this was a huge milestone for me. I loved this level when it came out. I was part of the playtesting team for it, and I ended up being the third victor of Subsonic just in general. And I think that was fantastic. Uh, do I want to go back to the days where I played this and beat it? Yes, because that was the point in time when I was able to do top 10s. But yeah, no, I genuinely thought I was going to have something harder than Subsonic, but I just didn't. I, I, I was shocked. Considering the fact that I have, I think I have 14 or 13 extremes completed uh, on 144 hertz. I genuinely thought that I would just have something harder because I only beat like five extremes back in 2017. This one being one of them. So I thought the next like nine extremes that I'd beaten uh, on 144 hertz, so one of them at least would have been harder. But no, I guess not. So Subsonic is my hardest completion on 144 hertz. I got rolled by this level, by the way. I just want to mention that real quick. Uh, for those of you who do not know my story with Subsonic, I had like 80 deaths to 70 plus. I got absolutely steamrolled by it. And that trend has gone through the cycles of every heart as I do, except for two of them. That being Bloodlust and Yadagarasu for some reason. For some reason, I just steamrolled those two levels. But Subsonic, hard is 144 hertz completion. So somehow, I don't know how that was the case, but it was. And then I have a 120 hertz completion. That being falling up. Oh, they're in my day is going pretty good. Shut up, Aeon, dumb idiot. I beat falling up on 120 hertz because the duel is not that good on anything above it. It is very buggy above 120 hertz for some reason. The 144 plus has a very bad time with the duel at the very end. And I was like, you know, I don't really feel like dealing with a garbage duel at the end. That doesn't really work. I want it to be under my control. So I decided I'm just going to bypass down to 120 and beat it on 120 hertz because that is easier and arguably more fun. And as a result, I have one completion on 120 hertz, that being falling up by Karma L. A very good level. I think as a result, I also think this is much harder than it really is. I'm pretty sure this is like easy tier and I think it's medium tier or something like that. It might even be a uh, beginner tier. I don't really know. I thought it was pretty hard because I was playing on 120 instead of 280 as I usually did. But Falling Up is a great level. I don't know, man. I really like this level. I thought it was very fun. I died a few times with the duel regardless, but that was just my inadequacy and my stupidity other than uh, bugs. 
But I, I like the thing that me changing down to 120 hertz instead of like fix fixing it in quote unquote is goes to show that I'm capable of doing stuff and I'm not carried by my refresh rate. That's my copium at least. I, I, I have a lot of fun memories of falling up. I didn't really enjoy it in the moment, but looking back at it, I did. I do really like this level and I thought it was a great challenge to myself as someone who has played high refresh rate for practically my entire career at this point. Uh, because even though I'm original, originally a mobile player, I was only on mobile for like a year before Steam came out because Steam came out in like 2015. I uh, started playing in 2014. But yeah, following up fantasy level, my heart is 120 hertz completion and my last extreme demon for this video this level i wasn't actually 100 certain of uh, i just kind of like i just kind of like went by my gut instinct of i remember specifically beating this in class on my old laptop before i got my first computer i had a laptop for school that i downloaded gd on and i played and that level was blast furnace i did not have a high refresh rate monitor at the point at the time of blast furnace whatsoever i just played it in class and i beat it in class it was like the one level i completed for some reason between me wanting to pick up the game again and getting a computer so i think this is like the only level that i know for a fact i beat on 60 hertz for some reason and i love this level i think blast furnace is absolutely awesome i've always been a huge huge fan of this level so I don't get the reason to hate for it. But yeah, no, I, I, I really don't know why I decided to pick up this level when I did. Because it really made no sense in retrospect that I picked this level up at any point. I just picked it up, played it, loved it, had a great time. And it was my only 60 hertz completion that I can with confidence say I beat on 60 hertz. I do think I have a video of re me rebeating this because I didn't actually beat it on my own account. I just kind of like played the game on my school laptop and I don't think I ever logged into my account with it. I just kind of like beat the level and called it and then I rebeat it at a later point on 144 hertz. I have very vivid memories of one of my friends watching me play this in class while I was just like soft tapping my space bar during like work time. <laughs> we didn't have like a lecture. We were just kind of like working on on homework or whatever and i beat this and it was very hype it was very awesome so yeah my the hardest level i think that i've beaten on 60 hertz would be blast furnace it's not the craziest thing it's it's just it's an insane demon it's like a decently easy insane demon as well uh but it's a level that i hold very fondly and then finally at the very end we have pg club step the original version if you guys have played pg club step as of any time lately you probably would not be able to recognize some of the things that happen in this level because this level has been updated like a thousand times however back when the map packs were first made i beat this level on the original copy of the level itself on mobile and while i again similar to blast furnace i can't say for 100 percent certain that this was the hardest level i beat on mobile because there was we didn't have the concept of a hardest back in the day right like in 2014 there was no such thing as this is the hardest level i've beaten you just kind of beat levels it was more about the quantity of levels you beat rather than the difficulty if you had beaten 30 demons but all of them were like in today's standard considered super easy you would be considered better than someone who had beaten five demons but had beaten the five hardest demons, right? Like that, it wasn't really a concept back then. So I, this is the hardest level out of memory that I beat on mobile because I know that I beat the original version of this. Well, I could have beaten something harder. I don't really know, but this was for the time. This was probably like one of the absolute hardest levels in the game. Because you got to remember, this was back in like 1.6, I believe. I'm pretty sure it was 1.6 when I beat this. But yeah, no, this level right here, huge challenge for me back in the day but it was a good time i really liked it i was one of the first people to beat it and i was very proud of beating it as well either way that was my hardest demon of each refresh rate and i hope you guys enjoyed i thought this was really fun looking back on it uh i just thought it would be fun to um add on to my spreadsheet of extreme demons and add a little category of these are the refresh rates i've beaten extremes on and these are this is the amount and what my hardest of that difficulty or that refresh it is. Why not make a cool little video out of it? Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz, you guys know the drill by now. If you want to get some G Fuel, link to that is in the description. Use my affiliate link, code A on Air at checkout for a discount. Again, code A on Air discount if you want to get it. It supports my channel. I would truly appreciate that. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I would truly, truly, truly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys later. Eat your greens, stay healthy, stay hydrated. Thank you for making my day better. Hope yours a little bit better too. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out, everyone.